In this video, we'll be demonstrating on how to import new fonts into Inkscape. Importing a new font in Inkscape is very good, especially if you're looking at stencil fonts, because a stencil font is way easier to cut on a plasma table since it allows the inside of most letters and numbers to be intact without falling out. You're going to want to do this on a designated laptop or desktop computer that is hooked up to the internet. We do not recommend you doing this on your CNC computer. It is not recommended also to have it hooked up to the internet since any virus or malware could wipe the computer out and interfere with it running on the table. First, on your designated computer, you're going to want to go to your web browser. We're using Google Chrome. After you have opened up your web browser, we're going to go to da da font dot com. Once you're on da font dot com, there's many different fonts you can use on your table, but you may have to modify them to make them work how you would like. Up here on the right hand corner, we will see a search bar. We're going to type in stencil. Now you see all these stencils right here. Ignore these and go down. These are all stencils fonts. There's over 90 of them on the website. You will see some are unusable like this one and this one since they are not solid colored. This font, this font, this font, and this font are very usable but there is tons of other ones. Let's go to the third page and see what's on here. How will we use stencil camera? So on the right hand side you're going to go to download. You'll see right here it downloaded. After it's downloaded you can minimize your web browser. After you minimize your web browser you're going to want to put in your USB flash drive into your designated computer. Go down to start computer and you will see here there is a download drop down. After you click on that we will see our stencil camera font folder. Double click on it and it will s reveal the true type font file. This is the font file that you are going to take and drag down here to your removal disk. So we're going to simply pick this, put it into our flash drive. Now we're going to exit out, take our flash drive out and put it into our CNC computer. Okay, now that it's on the CNC computer, we're going to go back down to start, computer, and we'll see our removal disk E. We're going to open that up. We will see our stencil font here. Next, what we're going to want to do is go back down to the start menu, type in search, type font. We'll see in the control panel there's a font folder. We are going to open that folder up. Now this is all the fonts that are on the computer and on Inkscape. So what we're going to want to do is take our stencil cam, click and drag it into this folder. I have already draw, dragged it into this folder so I'm just going to replace the already font file. So now it's installing it and the font has been installed. Now you're going to exit out these screens, go over to your Inkscape, open it up, and your screen should look something like this. We're going to want to zoom in, go on the left hand side to create text object, double click on your screen, and we're going to make this font say plasma. Now you can see this is just a regular ordinary font. To change this font, we're going to click and drag the highlighter plasma, go up here to the top left, and now we're going to look for a stencil font. There it is, stencil camera. Click on that and you'll see it popped up. I'm just going to go over here to the zoom in bar and zoom in some more. Now what you're going to want to do is go up to your select and transform object which is your selection key. Click it so your arrows are pointed out. Now we're going to go to path object to path. Now what this has done is 
it has traced all the outside lines in this font. To see that it's done it correctly, you can go over here to Edit Nodes, and you will see every letter you click is separated. This is very cool also because you can edit all of your fonts to make them customized to your specifications or needs. After you have done that, you're ready to export it. File, Save As. We're going to save this as Plasma. We're going to save it as a DXF, which is right here. I'm just going to simply save it to my desktop. We're going to save it as a LW Polyline. This is the type of output of the line. And I've already done this, so I'm just going to hit replace. After you've done that, you can minimize Inkscape. Go over to ViaCAD and open it up. I'm going to create a new file. Now, if you're in ViaCAD, you're going to go to File, Import. We're going to do DXF, File in Inches. Hit OK. Now we're going to look on our desktop for our plasma. Now you may have to go through the computer to your local drive C, Users, CNC, and Desktop to get to your desktop. So here is our plasma file. We're just going to open it up. You can see on here, here it is, all broken up. What I like to do is I like to go down here and get my selection tool, highlight it, drag it and align it with my X and Y axis. This is the same axis that's on the table. Now what you could do is, if you watch in this upper right hand corner, we're going to do the X first to see the width. Then we're going to do the Y to see the height of our letters. So we can see it's 3.339 inches roughly by 38.315 inches. Now say you wanted to make this only say a 12 inch or even a 9 inch letter. We're going to go over here, select our single line tool, align it with the edge which is our Y, move it, put in our length as 9 inches for a 9 inch line. We're going to hit enter. Now we see this line is 9 inches long. This is the scale. Now we're going to go up here to the top left where's the selection tool and we're going to take and highlight our text next we're going to go over here to our scale tool click on the left side of our 9 inch line which would be 9 inches down here and 0 down here then we're going to click on the right side of our text and then click on the end of our 9 inch line and this will scale it then I'm going to take and reline it. Click and drag to highlight my line. Hit delete to delete it. Now, if you look on the right hand corner up the top, when I go to the edge of our text, it is at 9 inches. Now, you can translate this and export it to SheCam and then Mach 3 and cut it out. Or you can import this or import an item into this page to add it to a drawing of a DXF or whatever you have. To export it, you can just go to File, Export, DXF, DXF, hit OK, and then save it as Plasma. Now I would recommend putting a box around this so when you cut it out, it separates from the metal and it's just not cut out into the metal. And that is the video. Thank you for watching.